Arkansas doctor is saving the lives of patients sick with COVID-19, but a shortage on donated plasma is causing concerns. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Crystal Martinez. KWA's Lauren Craycaw explains how you could potentially help someone infected with the virus as we continue to see hundreds of cases reported daily in the state. What's happened is, is demand has increased, our supply of plasma is dwindling, and so we're kind of in a, a crunch here. Convalescent plasma. It's a blood transfusion procedure where healthcare providers like infectious disease specialist Dr. Stephen Hennigan administer plasma donated from recovered COVID-19 patients to help treat those currently battling the deadly virus. And I think we're really seeing some encouraging results with this kind of multifaceted approach. Dr. Hennigan has been using this method since April. He says it saved many lives due to the antibodies it contains to fight off the coronavirus. I um, can't stress enough how important this is. With the increase in COVID-19 cases in areas like Benton and Washington County, Dr. Hennigan says the Northwest Arkansas region is experiencing a shortage in this life-saving procedure. I think they've got one day's worth of plasma. Community Blood Center of the Ozarks in Springdale is the only local plasma center in our area. Some people may be going to places where they pay for plasma donations. The problem, it doesn't go directly to NWA, it goes to pharmaceutical companies. It should be completely plentiful and bountiful because there are all these people who have survived they can donate. Dr. Hennigan's plea is that Arkansans understand how critically important it is to do this simple good deed. That's what I want. I want masks and I want convalescent plasma. Because without it, he fears what's to come. For the sake of, you know, Arkansas as a state, uh, that we can be responsible and not have to take this the hard way. In Bentonville, Lauren Craycall, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. All right, Lauren, thank you for that. And Dr. Hennigan says he wishes Arkansas would focus more on things like the plasma procedure and mask wearing rather than things like testing and contact tracing because he says, well, we're already behind. He says in his opinion, contact tracing has the greatest value when an infection isn't widespread like it is here in Northwest Arkansas. And when it comes to testing, he feels like it's important, but we need to be careful not to put too much confidence in it because it only reflects one point in time and there's a chance for false negatives. Local pediatrician Dr. Martha Sharkey says she understands Dr. Hennigan's concerns, but these things are crucial in stopping the spread. So for us to be able to say definitively, oh, we don't see outbreaks associated with bars, if you aren't doing the contact tracing, you don't know that. Dr. Sharkey recently started a petition. It calls on Governor Asa Hutchinson and the Arkansas Department of Health to increase testing and contact tracing in Washington County. As of today, it has almost 1,300 signatures.